How does a career criminal avoid prosecution for federal crimes run for president? Except in this case, I don't think it's going to work. So today, a bombshell came out against Hillary Clinton again with her email scandal. FBI Director Comey stated that he was going to reopen the investigation into her emails. And what they said is that a large number or a very large number of emails have been found to be or could be relative to the investigation of criminal activity by Hillary Clinton involving her email server and the trans transfer of emails containing classified information. Now, I posted a video a little while ago on this very same subject. If you watched it, uh, it may not be up anymore. I apologize for that. I accidentally uh, deleted several videos from my library that I considered unproductive videos. So we're going to go ahead and make this video one more time uh, <clears throat> about uh, FBI Director Comey coming out with this bombshell today. Now, on, on to the main topic. My thing is, is this happening in lieu of Donald Trump at his rally in, uh, in New Hampshire today came out and announced this. At the rally, there was a huge roar, a huge uh, clap. Everybody was um, totally excited about the big news, the, the big news that they're going to open this investigation into Hillary Clinton again. And I'm beginning to think that maybe uh, FBI Director Comey is reopening this investigation in lieu of the fact that during the debates, Donald Trump said that he was going to appoint a special prosecutor to look into Hillary Clinton's uh, situation. And so what we're seeing is maybe the FBI trying to cover their own butt. Now, here's a little tidbit information that you may not know or, or may not be aware of. And one of the reasons why I think Hillary Clinton did not face charges and Comey did not recommend charges. Now, we all know that Bill Clinton let, met with Loretta Lynch on the tarmac for 39 minutes the day before the announcement of the recommendation for charges or not. But this other part of information you may not be aware of is that uh, the lead investigator who was in charge of the investigation of Hillary Clinton's email uh, investigation, his wife was uh, campaigning for Senate and the Clintons donated $600,000 to this woman's campaign. So you got Hillary Clinton donating a very large amount of money to the wife of the lead investigator for the Clinton email investigation of the FBI. What a bombshell information that is. So we're seeing inside collusion. We're seeing the good buddy politics that Democrats use so much. We're seeing more and more corruption come out every day on Hillary Clinton, her emails, her background, even her own people within the DNC speak bad about her. And we've seen that in the John Podesta emails, the Huma Abedin emails, and several other emails, uh, including several members of the Democratic Party in uh, WikiLeaks leaks. Now, what is this going to do if the investigation continues and it does not conclude before Election Day, which it most likely probably will not? If Hillary Clinton gets elected, which I believe she will not, if she does get elected president, ladies and gentlemen, we will have the very first president in American history who is under investigation or has been under investigation by the FBI for federal crimes against America. She's already violated a United States code by destroying evidence and obstructing justice after she was subpoenaed by the Congress. She deleted 33,000 emails. All this is being ignored, people. And, and the mainstream media is trying to dumb you down and make it seem like it is not a big deal. 
there are also, uh, like I've stated before, oversampling Democrats to make it seem like a Hillary Clinton lead in order to voter suppress and make you believe that it's a hopeless situation, yet your vote will not count, and that Hillary Clinton is a shoe-in, which I believe she is not. So my advice to you is stay tuned to my channel, subscribe if you like, hit the like button, make a comment in the comment below, and just stay tuned. We're going to come out with more information on this subject. We're going to continue to investigate this, and you can rely on news that you get from people like me and alternative news sources versus the lying, crooked, liberal mainstream media. Anyway, that's my message for today. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Johnny Jetrod the Patriot. Thank you, America.